What's up, everybody? I am your host, Chris Closes Your Deal, and I wanted to first start off with just thanking you guys for supporting our YouTube channel and purchasing our on-market offer system. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the tools and the resources here that you have access to. There's a whole training series on the different tools that are included in this on-market offer system toolkit. So again, from everybody here at Real Estate Investing Made Easy, we just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. Definitely hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do. But the other thing is make sure to put in the comment section things that you think could be improved with this toolkit, whether it's the soft comp underwriting tool, the quick deal analyzer, the KPI tracker, the spreadsheets, all the different tools that come as a part of this system. Anything that you guys would like to see added or improved upon, put it in the comments below. We do read those all the time and it helps us make improvements to our overall system so we can provide more value to you and the rest of the audience. So thank you guys for watching and let's dive in here real quick. This is going to be reviewing the on-market offer system a soft comp underwriter. So just to give a little bit of context, our process, you may or may not use this for your process, right? And what I mean by that, there's two different tools we have. We have the soft comp underwriting tool, and then we have the quick underwriting deal analyzer, and that's going to be a more comprehensive deal analyzer. Now, our system, if you've been following along in Brad's training series for uh, using Privy, you'll notice that our goal is to blast out as many offers as possible in a very quick fashion. Now, if we are underwriting every single property before we're sending out an offer, that's gonna greatly reduce the number of properties we can make offers on. So in our system, what we're doing is we're doing just a basic quick underwriting, blasting out offers, just to see if we're even in a reasonable range. If we get in a reasonable range, we get a response back from the agent and they're open to discussing or we're close or maybe they're accepting our offer, then we're gonna do a deeper dive discovery and really understand what it is that needs to be done to that property and really fine tune the underwriting. And that's when we'll provide the, the real offer, right? So this is just an offer just to kind of, you know, test the water, see where we're at. Now, this is a pretty straightforward process. There's literally only three things you have to fill in here in order for you to get a number uh, provided. Now, a couple things I will note, this can be used one for any system to find on-market properties, right? You can use this for the MLS. You can use this if you're leveraging Zillow to find on-market properties, maybe you're doing for sale by owners, whatever that is, you can definitely use Privy the same way that we're using Privy. And there's other opportunities, there's other resources out there that you can use to make offers for on-market properties. Now, again, we use Privy for the most part, but you can use a number of different tools. The other thing I wanna note is that this does not include your assignment fee and repair costs. And so when you're making offers using the soft underwriting calculation, we're not looking for accuracy, right? It, this is a shotgun approach. So this tool is for the shotgun and then the full deal analyzer is for the sniper rifle. Okay. Let's dive in and get started. You'll see this. There's two different sections. You have standard calculation and you have the via ARV. Now, the standard calculation, if you look on the left-hand side, you've got list price. So obviously that's what the price, uh, the property is listed for. MLS discount. So this is the amount of a discount that your buyers, if you're wholesaling, are typically gonna wanna see. What I mean by that is, you know, if you, it, let's say it's listed for, we'll just plug a number in here. Let's say it's listed for $300,000. Do you have buyers that if you got it locked up for you know 290 will pay you three hundred thousand dollars even though it's listed on market for three hundred thousand dollars or are most of those buyers going to say that's what it's listed for i need a discount and if not i'll just wait for you to fall out of escrow and then i'll go in and negotiate a better price so it, it all depends on your situation you know if you have really good hedge fund buyers or buyers that just at the end of the day, they don't care. They're just looking for a property that they can actually make money on. Then yeah, you can certainly offer closer to the list price. Um, but generally speaking, most buyers are going to want to see a discount. So typically what we're doing is somewhere in the neighborhood of like $60,000. Again, 
it depends on your market. If you're in, you know, Alabama looking at a $50,000 property, you obviously can't build in a $60,000 price reduction. So you just need to figure out your specific market and where you're doing deals. Then the last component of this is what is the buyer's percentage of ARV that they're purchasing deals at? Now, if you click the drop down, you'll see we have a range here from 45% to 75%. Now you can edit this just simply by clicking the little pencil and you can add additional tiers in there if you'd like. But generally speaking, what we found from market to market, usually buyers are going to be looking to purchase somewhere in this general range. So we're going to go ahead and select 75%. Now, what this calculation does is it now tells you that your offer, three, if it's listed for $300,000 and you need to get it at 60% of a discount, then you're suggested that that offer price is going to be $240,000, right? $300,000 minus $60,000 gives you $240,000. Now, in order for that to make sense for the buyer, what does the ARV need to be in that scenario? Well, the ARV needs to be $320,000. And the way that we get there is we go $240,000 divided by 0.75, and that's going to give you $320,000. So this $240,000 is 75% of this ARV value that we need to see. Now, go back and watch the privy training video where Brad shows you how he finds, you know, the comps to support that 320 number and he'll go into a bit more detail about that. Now, the one thing, so this is your $240,000 offer. You need to find a comp that supports $320,000. Now, let's say you don't find a comp that supports $320,000. Does that mean you're not gonna make an offer? Well, maybe, maybe not, right? So over here on this other section, this is via ARV. So now that you're actually running your comps and you're finding actual numbers, this is going to give you a better idea of what your offer could actually be if the ARV is not really supported at 320. So let's say you run comps and you find actually there's, there's uh, supported ARVs that are higher than this at like 350. Well, this is going to tell you you could reasonably go up to about 262 for this offer. Now, let's say you find comps and they don't support 320 or 350 and let's say they're, you know, 300. This is going to show you based on that number, 75% of ARV, this is where your buyer's price is gonna be. And then of course, minus repairs and minus your wholesale fee. So, you know, if you're trying to get super accurate with the numbers, you need to consider your repair costs and you need to consider what your assignment fee is going to be and deduct that so you can come up with that offer. But again, our approach is blast out a ton of offers, get within a range, right? We want to see like, is the seller even open to discussing a sizable discount off of the purchase price? If we're making offers $60,000 off of the list price and they're not even considering it, well, then they're certainly not going to consider $100,000 off of list price, right? So we want to find, we're just trying to whittle that funnel down. So we've got the top of the funnel is all of the listed properties. We blast out like a reasonable discount and then see out of all of those, how many responded that are actually open to having a discussion. And then now we do a deep dive discovery. Hey, can you tell me more about the property? Hey, I had questions about this. Right now we're in the negotiation. And then that's when we come into our lower number, uh, which we'll talk about on the next training video, going over the whole quick underwrite deal analyzer. So again, thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you have any questions on how to use this tool. Put the comments below and we'll certainly respond to those. And, you know, stay tuned if you've purchased just this tool already, you know, you're going to get access to any improvements that we make along the way. So make sure you stay tuned, keep an eye on your email inbox, because that's where we'll be letting you know, as well as on the channel here, we we'll letting you know of any improvements that we make for version, you know, 2.0 and 3.0 and any other iterations and add-ons that we have here. So again, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more and appreciate you guys. Peace.